Get seven hidden features so you can make better sounds for your music. Vital allows us to drag and drop audio files into the oscillator section. There's plenty of ways you can download audio files. This website's called Wave Edit Online. All of the sounds on there are free. I'll leave a link in the description. After you download it, drag and drop each sample into this oscillator section and select Wavetable. I like to use some pads because you can create weird textures. The next way you can use this is by dragging in one shot and other audio files. For these sounds, I usually compare vocode and pitch bless. In the LFO section of Vital, if you right click on smooth, there's a hidden setting called fade in. Let's demonstrate what this does. Let's say we have a vibrato, which is making a pitch go. Oh. If that happened on every note, it's going to sound a bit distracting. So to make it only happen on the longer notes, increase the fade in. Tip number three. We all know that drum beats, when they're fully quantized, when they're fully in time, sometimes the rhythm's gonna sound a bit stiff. So to overcome this, we can either program in our drum beats by hand, we can add swing, or you can go into your piano roll and nudge each note to make it have a more human feel. So I was thinking we can apply the same concept to synthesizers. So when we add an LFO to a sound, instead of making it fully in time, we can make it early, or we can make it slightly late, and that's gonna add a bit more rhythm to the patch. So how do you do this in Vertical? Drag an LFO to any part of the sound, I'm gonna drag it to the volume, this is perfectly in time with our beat. However, to make it groove, go into the matrix page and this curve will adjust the timing of the LFO. You can also use this page to reverse the shape of the LFO so it performs in the opposite direction. And if you're a bit more experimental, draw in random shapes, that's gonna create some crazy interesting effects for yourself. Sometimes simps can sound a bit too clean, so we add processing to make them sound a bit more gritty, a bit more interesting. On the Pro 3, it's one of my favourite simps to use for sound design. There's a feature that allows you to use the noise to modulate anything in the synth. So I was thinking, how do we do this in Vital? And I found a workaround that's going to give us a very similar effect. It's going to add a lot of texture and grit to your synth sound. To achieve this effect, set random one to a very fast speed and drag it to whatever you want. I find the key for this is keeping it subtle. If you add too much, it tends to ruin sound. If your computer's slow, you're gonna love tip number five. Go to the advanced page and reduce the oversampling to 1x. This way it's gonna take up less processing power so you can use more instances of it in your track. The only downside of this is it does reduce the quality a little bit. So when you're exporting stuff out, I recommend increasing the oversampling to either 2x or higher. Vital has a range of different filter types. Sometimes it's hard to know which one's gonna work in your music. So I like to set up two filters side by side and compare them. To do this, set up one filter setting on the left and set up another filter setting on the right. Now on the oscillator section, click the button and it's gonna flip between each setting and then you can decide which one you like the best. Tip number seven, this is our second to last one. And for this one, we're gonna be going back in time to some of the early simps. So one of the most classic simps is the Prophet 5. And did you know that they didn't allow velocity sensitivity? What this means is, no matter how hard you play on the keyboard, it's gonna give you the same volume. So when Dave Smith made the Rev 4, which is the latest reissue of the Prophet, now we have the velocity sensitivity, so your synth playing can be a lot more expressive and dynamic. Vital by default has this option turned off, so increase the slider. And here's a bonus tip. Vital has an oscillator editing section that allows us to modify the shape of our saws, our squares, and our triangles. Here's a great way to use it. Let's say you had a sound, had a bit too much bass, it was kind of muddying up your mix. What you'd usually do is go to an EQ, cut some of the lows, and that is one way to fix the sound. However, there are other solutions. Go into the oscillator editing section and reduce the fundamental and the first harmonic. And there's also more ways to use this if you check out the Keishinada video. The chances bass includes this oscillator editing section, so if you want to learn a bit more about that, Check that video out. If you have a suggestion for a future video, let me know in the comments. I love reading your suggestions. And if you haven't done it already, hit the subscribe. We've got a bunch more videos coming. So I'll see you in the next one.